Welcome back to Buena Vida Route. En este video te mostramos un recuento de muchos de los lugares mágicos que hemos visitado en nuestro carro casa que tiene como nombre La Chata, en compañía de una mujer maravillosa que he tenido la fortuna de disfrutar de su excelente gastronomía. También el compartir de esos momentos únicos e inigualables que nos dan la ruta. De ahí nuestro nombre, Buena Vida Raúl. Hemos tenido la gran experiencia de haber despertado en algunos de los lugares más hermosos de California, visitado dos estados y 23 parques nacionales y contando. Lo que me recuerda contarles que hemos ido coleccionando parches de estos lugares. Hemos estado tanto en lagos como montañas como desiertos y como no, las bellísimas playas. Tuvimos la fortuna de estar acompañado de viajeros de muchas partes del mundo y viajar en caravana con algunos de ellos, inclusive han volado a diferentes países para acompañarnos en algunos de nuestros viajes o, o algo tan simple como a ver, hacer una linda amistad en el camino. Ha sido todo casi una aventura poética el poder ir a dormir con esa imagen de esos atardeceres inolvidables, con el sueño de poder en un futuro recorrer todo el territorio americano de este a oeste y de norte a sur. What are you doing, Chevy? I am shredding cheese. So normally we use cotija cheese, but we don't have any. And we're not necessarily in the town where they sell Latin food. So we are using a sharp, nutty goat cheese that I had. Which is much better for Andres and I since we're lactose intolerant and goat and sheep milk cheeses do better with our system than cow's milk. Welcome back to Buena Vida Route. This week, since Andres has been a bit under the weather with a cold, we took a well-deserved rest and figured we would give you a short and sweet video of me making Andres's favorite arepa breakfast. If you aren't familiar with what arepas are, they are kind of like a tortilla, but made out of cornmeal and not masa that has been nixed tamalized. So they taste a little bit sweeter, especially the ones that we prefer out of yellow corn. I start by shredding some cheese, mixing in the cornmeal, adding a pinch of salt and enough water to make a soft and moist dough. You let the dough rest for a few minutes to hydrate and then proceed to make small balls, which you can then flatten out by hand with two plates or with a tortilla press as you see me do here. I use a large cast iron flat skillet that we have cleverly used the space above the fridge to store. This way, I can make about four of them at a time, but you, of course, can use one or two round skillets at home. Since my cast iron is well cured, I could easily do them with no fat. Yet a little smear of butter goes a long way of making them a little crispy on the outside and, of course, adding some flavor. You can eyeball the mixture as I tend to do. But the packaging does give you measurements of cornmeal versus water. So for the purpose of showing you, I went ahead and measured. Also, some people like adding sour cream or butter to the dough. Others add healthier ingredients like chia or flax seeds, but this is the way Andres likes them, nice and cheesy. Don't be afraid that when you start the dough, it might feel a little watery and too loose, but the cornmeal will absorb the water and it will get firmer. In fact, if you do a big batch, make sure to place a damp towel on top, otherwise the dough can dry out. I've shared this breakfast many times with other travelers, including our friends, the Bacon's Rebellion, because Erin always requests it. I like cooking up some summer sausage until crispy, 
cut up some avocado and make some scrambled eggs. Andres also likes adding some fresh cheese, but we didn't have any on this occasion. He loves combining all ingredients onto one arepa, while I like eating mine with just one ingredient at a time. They also make a great vessel for lunch as well, with shredded beef or chicken, cooked mushrooms, you know, a little salad on top. And of course, they make a nice side to mop up any saucy dishes you may be eating. For Colombians like Andres, they use it like bread at pretty much every meal they have. It's their staple food. In fact, the reason why I started making them was after our second date that Andres attempted to cook for me, he made me arepas. And I kind of rudely said, I never eat that dough ball when I go to Colombian restaurants. So poor little Andres proceeded to toast a bagel for me. This was before he knew I was a chef. So by the next date, I knew I could improve about those dough, this recipe. This, of course, meant that Andres has never even tried to cook for me again. Yet, as you can see in this video, we are both happy campers, me cooking and him doing the dishes. See you all next week. Want to give us your support? We would love to see you wearing our merch. You can find the link in the description of our Etsy page. It's the good life on the road as we see. Come along with us to see all the beauty this world can. If you like this video, please subscribe, hit like, and share. Don't forget to also follow us on Instagram and TikTok for more recent updates of what it is that we're up to. And if you want to watch more of our videos, click to the right.